Hello, welcome back to On The Road Adventure. We are so happy today. The sun is shining as good as you can ask for in January. It's stopped raining. All is well. Me and Eva are out on the twins. So we are heading today down the east coast of Devon. We're heading to a small seaside town of Sidmouth. The Sidmouth is usually absolutely ram-packed in the summer, but uh, we're hoping it's going to be a bit quieter today because who else goes to the beach in January, right? I've never really explored Sidmouth. I know I've been or passed by. We've been there once, but I haven't actually explored it. So let's see what's there and what's on the way there. It's really nice today. We've seen a lot of bikes coming by going the other way, haven't we? Everybody's been sat inside looking at their bikes while it's been raining for what feels like weeks solid. So you get a day like this and it's a Saturday and everybody's jumped on their bikes and come out. This white building coming up here, this cottage, this is the old toll house. So there would have been a toll to pay to come through the village on the old horse and cart days. There's a few of them knocking around Devon. A lot of nice small independent shops here and coffee shops and stuff, isn't there? I like that. Well, there's a lot of people about. Looks like we're not the only ones who decided to come down to Sidmouth. So this is known as the Jurassic Coast along here and um, all of these cliffs along here they have rock falls every now and again you might be able to see some piles down there and then they keep finding new um, fossils and stuff down there. It's a nice little spot isn't it? You can imagine back in the day this would have been like holiday destination central. All of these were hotels along the front I think. Well everyone is in Tenerife now. Yeah that's it. Wow, look at this, Costa del Sidmouth in Devon. <laughs> Beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah, really sunny today, actually, it's warm. So Eva found a place here today, I've not been here. Another time in Devon, I've lived here my whole life and I've never been to this spot. So what's this place called? Uh, Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder. And yeah, it is... so it's all down there and then you've got the beach that sort of looks like a ladder. I don't know, that's part of it, I suppose. And there's a lovely tea rooms up here. Tea which... rooms and gardens, so we're going to go and have a little look around there yeah. and have a coffee. Um, you don't fancy going down the, uh, the wooden ladder then? Might do later, we'll see how I feel. <laughs> Huge um, set of wooden steps that go down to the beach. Hence the name Jacob's Ladder. It's like around the back of an old castle, isn't it? It is. All these cool little walkways. This is tight. Castle Gardens then. 
Look at that, it must look really nice in the summer. Look all the way there. Yeah. And it looks like there's a lot of grounds to walk around as well. Maybe they have squirrels, because I brought nuts with me. Eva's been hunting squirrels for so long. How long have you been hanging on to this bag of monkey nuts for? Too long. Yeah, you They to... need to meet some squirrels today. <laughs> Let's go. Eva's delusional. She thinks she's going to hand feed the squirrels the monkey nuts. And she's carried them around on the bike for so long. Was that a squirrel? No. no. It's not a squirrel. <laughs> he was so excited. We just come around the corner and I'll be fucked. There are squirrels oh. over there on the grass. I don't know if you can see them. Look, look, show, me, show me nuts. How They're long so have you been worn carrying out, that? Like a year. He's so excited. Oh, can I open it? Come here. If you go over and hand feed them squirrels, I will eat my boots. Come on then, get ready. <gasps> Here you oh, go. No. Oh, he's scared of me. But I want some. Look at that. He's going to have it. Where the hell do you think a crow learned to eat monkey nuts? From the squirrels. <laughs> oh, maybe. Come on, mate. She came and stole some. He's got about 30, yeah. Mm. He's limping a bit. He's not very clever either. He's, the nuts are just there, mate. Mm, I'm scared. Squirrels are coming back to attack. He's coming. They're just waiting for us to go away. That's when they, when we turn around, they take the nuts. Some more? <laughs> Some... Well, I ain't got to eat me boots. You didn't manage to hand feed any squirrels, did you? <laughs> Not tame enough here for that, is it? No, they're quite wild in here. Are you saying you did it somewhere before? Where were you? London yeah, I used to in? live in, uh, yeah, well, in Hyde Park and in Bournemouth. They so used to people, they would like climb on you. Awesome. They got um, parrots there as well, ring neck parrots as well, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I've got some pictures for them as well. Oh, we'll have to go there. Yeah. That's another video. Yeah. Let's see what else is down here then. You remember you said the crow is following us? Yeah. He is actually. He's here <laughs> he again. Is. Look. You're not stupid. Come on, mate. I've got your nuts. Right, I'll put it here. We're going to give the rickety old uh, steps a go then. Jacob's ladder. Yeah. Let's go down. Come on, let's go and have a look. You test it. <laughs> it's all right. I ain't keen. <laughs> That's a stony beach. You know what? It's starting to feel like summer might actually happen this year. Don't get your hopes high, it's only January. I'm getting all excited, I am. Sun's out on the beach. I love the sound that the water makes as it comes back over the stones. How's hill climbing on rocks on your biker boots? Amazing. Go for it. So I'm not even going to pretend that I didn't just Wikipedia this, but the reason it's called Jacob's Ladder is because the Victorians built that ladder as in the ladder to heaven, Bible story or something. That's taller as Jacob's ladder, apparently. Okay, I don't know much about that. But the reason for that was, is before 1870, there was a cliff fall which had the original path down to the beach and it was the only access. So you can see where the cliff comes round and then there's this chunk missing down here, which is probably where the original path was and joins up with the rest of the cliff. Right, so back on the bikes. The only downside with it still being January is it starts to get dark still quite early, doesn't it? 
only about 20 to 4 but we think we'll see sunset within an hour or so so we thought we'd uh, have a little nip along some nice country lanes different type of road to ride well you can't have a nice Devon ride episode without doing some Devon lanes can you a viewpoint the hedge is too overgrown look at that that was beautiful isn't it nice place to stop and uh, watch the sunset over the hills I reckon it's gonna get really cold once that sand goes down yeah absolutely oh can't see anything no oh, that is the trouble when there's water on the road it's blinding isn't it the sun reflects off the ground it's definitely adventure bike road ooh, ooh, ooh. what a road <laughs> <laughs> as you get lunatics flying down usually farmers or people who live local oh I know these roads like the back of my hand and then they fly around the corner and surprise usually you can do 60 on those lanes <laughs> yeah they are national speed limit in those country lanes right let's go to Ladrum Bay so have a quick ride around alright I'm done walking <laughs> you had enough walking today And here we go, 60 miles an hour, are you allowed? lovely awesome day East Devon I've really enjoyed today getting out on the bike it's been great hasn't it yeah it's been a really good day hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well and we've shown you some things perhaps you've not seen before I've certainly seen things I've not seen before I've, I've visited none of those places before that we've seen today it's amazing isn't it? we all think you know we've got to wait and go touring hundreds of miles away or you know in different countries but just have a look around on your own doorstep it's amazing what's there yeah, if you live in Devon, you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. Perhaps not so good if you live in central London, but it is what it is. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the road again next time. See ya.